Hi friends, from this presentation we are going to study a new subject that is data structures. In this presentation I would like to introduce some prerequisites for data structures. So let's get started. Before understanding what data structure is, let's first try to understand what is a data. Let's see the dictionary definition of a data for better understanding. The quantities, characters or symbols on which operations are performed by a computer which may be stored and transmitted in the form of electrical signals and recorded on magnetic, optical or mechanical recording media. So we can think of a data as quantities, characters or symbols on which we can perform operations, we can store them, we can transmit them in the form of electrical signals in our computer. This is exactly what data is. For example, y is equal to x plus z. Here in this case, I am performing a operation that is addition on x and z and these two are quantities. We can store them and transmit them. As these are satisfying the properties of the data, we considered them as a data. Data also refers to a raw input. Let's try to understand when data becomes information. We often interchange the terms data and information. But there is a distinction between data and information. Let's try to understand what is that. Data refers to raw input that when processed or arranged makes meaningful output. Information is usually the processed outcome of data. When data is processed into information, it becomes interpretable that is understandable and gains significance. Let us see an example on data and information. Here is the example. In this example, data is just a collection of characters and symbols. We can't just tell what exactly written over here. But when I process this data, let's say I reverse the old string, then it becomes information. How are you? Because I can read this and understand this. So here data become information as I can extract some meaning from the data. So if data is arranged in a systematic way, then it, it gets a structure and becomes meaningful. The conclusion is the meaningful or processed data is called information. Let me say a short note on data and information. Every information is a data, but data need not be an information always. Depending upon the context, data is considered as information. For example, a documentation in Hindi is information to the guy who knows Hindi, but it is a data to others. Now, here is some short note on data versus information. Data deals with raw facts, no context, just numbers and text. Information is nothing but processed data, data with context, and it is a summarized, organized and analyzed data. Finally, the data is processed to give information and it is experienced to gain knowledge. What next? We need to arrange our data and manage our data in a systematic way. We have to ensure that data needs to be managed in such a way so that it can produce some meaningful information. So in order to structure the data, we need to know about data structures. Data structures gives us a way to structure the data to appropriately manage the data so that we can get some meaningful information from it and also in an efficient way. That is why it is so useful to understand the data structures. In next presentation, I will be introduce what data structure is and some real life examples from data structures.